morning. We're plugging away at this railing project. And last night I was able to cut all the rope um, that is gonna go on the outside of the railing. And now I'm starting to put it on the railing. So I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that. I have the first rope section in place and there are holes going down the side here that the rope goes into. And I burned the sections apart last night and they're little just like rough edges right here. So the first step is to take a utility knife and just cut off those edges because the hole that the rope is going into is the same exact size that the rope is. So there can't be any extra material on the end. Basically you want the end to be tapered just a little bit so that you can push it into the hole. After I get the little extra burrs cut off, then I'll take some electrical tape and just do one wrap around the end to hold all the fibers together a little bit more. And the electrical tape is going to be buried inside the hole anyway, so you're not going to see it. I just changed the ISO settings on the camera, so go back to the previous clips and see if you notice a difference from then to now. All right, let me show you this next step. The next step is to take the end of the rope and get it inside of the hole. It's a pretty snug fit, but if you twist it in, there we go. So you push it in all the way to the end and you'll stretch it out. I'm trying to get them so they're tight. So if there's extra slack, then I can twist the rope to take some of the slack out. If it's a little bit too tight, like it's not long enough, then I can untwist the rope, make it a little bit longer. Before I push that side in and pull tight, I need to secure this side. All right, so that's back in there as far as it'll go. Now I'm just gonna toenail screw through the rope into the hole and into the wood. That should be pretty secure, which it is. So then I would stretch out the rope and it looks like I might need to twist it a little bit. That's how you put the rope on. I have two more ropes to put on this section. Each section gets four ropes and I have all of these to do. So that'll keep me busy today and I'm excited to get more of this project done. I'm not sure if it's gonna reach completion before the time that we leave. However, it would be really cool to see these railings go up before we leave. So I'm gonna try to uh, get some of this done quick enough so that we can uh, get it on the building before we leave and that way this project is done for them. Or I'll just do as much as I can and try to help them out. So if you're new to the channel or uh, this is the first video you're watching in a while, we are volunteering here at a property and just helping them with different projects while we're here, hanging out with some new friends uh, that we've met on this trip that we've been traveling for the last 10 months and my brother's coming out to visit So I'm excited to see him Jake if you're watching uh, I love you, man, and I'm super excited to see you yesterday. We also put all these cap boards on top And that really makes them stout as far as being able to pick them up and move them So they're all really solid now and some of these boards were were warped a little bit and the some of the railings were a little bit crooked and so it was kind of a process of securing one end and then as we went down like bending the board to secure it and now everything is straight so looks really good bolt them down to the deck it will secure it as well and they should all be straight which will be nice we went through along the bottom here on all the uh, hog panels and stapled them to this baseboard so that they're secure and won't move back and forth. Some of the hog panels were bending out and so the staples really hold it in place.
I'm trying to, f <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out if I would ever build this railing for something of my own. Like if I had a deck on a house or something and would I put this type of railing together? Cause it is really nice. And uh, according to what they've come across, it's not super expensive. It just takes, you know, some process to put it all together. And you have the ropes going across that kind of gives it a nautical theme or like a coastal theme, I think, in my perspective. And so, you know, maybe the railing without the ropes, what would that look like? You could even use this for like a fence in your yard. That would be another option if you had like a dog run area. One thing that I think about when building a fence is I think about fires uh, just because when we lived at the ranch, there would be fires that come through and some of the older fences had wood uh, posts and the newer ones were all the metal, you know, fence posts and the fire would just go <clears throat> right past all the metal and wouldn't harm it. But all the fence that had sections with wood posts, those would all get burnt up and then that fence would be down. And not that you're going to have a fire like in your yard, you might, but uh, or on your house. But that's just something that I think about. It's like, what, if you're building something, will it be able to withstand uh, any type of natural disaster, any type of accident, anything like that? How strong is it gonna be? And how long is it gonna last? Uh, these boards pr might eventually need to be restained, and that will be a process of staining them while they're assembled. Uh, it'll be a little bit different because we stained all these before we put them together. So I was thinking about that, just trying to think through the future of this railing and the maintenance side of it as well. Here's all the rope sections that I have cut. If you're new to the channel and you want to follow along our journey, this channel, Axe Family, is basically documenting our family's story and life events that we're going through. And so right now we're on uh, a big long road trip basically and these videos are kind of capturing memories for us to be able to look back on however a lot of you are now following our journey and we're so excited to have you with us and to share what we're going through if that's something that you're interested in then push the subscribe button all the way in and if you click that little bell next is a next to the subscribe button then you'll be able to uh, get notified when we post new videos Hit that thumb or button down below and we'll see you in the next one. You guys are awesome. Hats off to you.